Rotorua was voted New Zealand's most beautiful city in 1999, 2000 and 2002. It's rich with gardens, cobbled streets and a mix of Maori and English Tudor architecture. This is also where you'll truly discover the nation's traditional culture. No trip to New Zealand is complete without an authentic Maori experience. We were lucky enough to join Rotoiti Tours to stay at a sacred Maori meeting place known as a marae. You cannot enter here till you receive the karanga, the spiritual calling, and the pauhiri, the traditional welcome. Then you can join in some singing and dancing. This marae is run by the Ngati Rongomai tribe, who've called Rotoiti Lake their home for many generations. Uncle John and his family oversee both the tourism and the environment here. It's really an insight and an introduction to our culture. It's making the rest of the world be aware who we are and what we're all about. Our family joined their family in the traditional feast known as the hungi, where the meat and the vegetables are cooked in hot rocks underground. So how do you warm up at night in New Zealand? Well, nature provides the answer. And here it is. So let's go, guys. Outside the marae, the family takes care of Soda Springs, a natural hot stream that's heaven on a cool evening. John, when you said we were going to take a midnight swim, I didn't really appreciate that it was going to be a warm swim, <laughs> a hot swim. <laughs> it's beautiful here. The name of this place is, today is called Waitangi. 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 Wai meaning water, tangi meaning the frying of the An ideal family holiday is to hire a camper van like this and simply set out and explore. The great thing about New Zealand is you can free camp almost anywhere in the country, and that includes all the national parks, which constitute around 40% of New Zealand. This is a wonderful environment for children to explore, particularly when you can get up close to Rotorua's famous and active geothermal landscape. This is boiling hot thermal mud. From the fascinating landscapes of Rotorua, we ventured on. Our next stop in the heart of the North Island was Lake Taupo. The volcanic past is particularly vivid here. In 181 AD, the lake itself was the end result of the most violent volcanic eruption the world has seen in the past 5,000 years, and the ash affected the sunsets as far away as Europe and China. 
The town situated today on its calm shores is picture perfect and there are plenty of places to pull in for the night. Many resorts and hotels here are family owned and have all the facilities for camping, either in tents or vans. They're also gentler on your budget when you have the whole gang travelling with you. Yeah. 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 What do you call them? What do you call them? Hang on. Okay. And which way would you be sleeping if you were sleeping like that? We needed a good rest. There was another fun-filled day ahead.